Bitte, bitte, Bau. Bitte, bitte, Bau. Bitte, bitte, Bau. Okay, honey. Can you be shh so Mama can film this part? Probably, probably not. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Logan is in my office right now, so if you hear him, he's right here. Today, I am doing a get ready with me, and we are talking all about my content creation journey. I just got a little email and a little reflective on my life and my career up until this point because we are in my beauty room today, my content room, my office for the first time filming. Still a little echoey in here because we only have a rug and I'm gonna give you guys a tour and a reveal in Sunday's vlog, so get excited for that. Um, but we are in here and it has been such a long time coming. If you've been subscribed for a while, you know I have been dying for a place to sit down and film forever. And the fact that we are here is like really surreal and I just wanted to take a moment and thank you guys and reflect on like the last seven years of my YouTube channel because it's literally been that long. So with all of that said, I did this look right here. Follow along, hang out with me, get cozy and Thank you and I love you guys and let's jump right in. Okay, so I'm not exactly positive what we're doing today. The first thing that needs to happen is a lip mask. So I have, actually, I have this little Ilia guy, which is nice. It's a reviving balm. We just need something on the lips while we get started. All right, so we're trying out a new primer today. This is the Peach and Lily Skin Shield blurring primer i love a blurring primer because i feel like texture oh god texture and pores and fine lines are like my biggest issue so we love a good blur i am truly hold on i mean really this is a joke I mean, I'm not gonna use it if it doesn't, if I can't get it out. Okay, forget it, we're not using it. That's how little patience I have. I think we're just gonna use, let me go get my unseen. I'm in my beauty room, I know exactly where it is. Wow, that is such a treat. Okay, so we're just gonna go on with the unseen sunscreen. This, I know for a fact, this is probably a safer bet anyway. I know for a fact this is going to just like, first of all, protect, but also it smooths and it does blur really nicely so anyway what i was gonna say was i cannot believe i am in my beauty room right now it's still a little echoey so we need to hang well curtains are going on probably later today and then we need to hang some art which i don't have yet but we do have a rug in here so it's a little better Ooh, sorry i just kicked my camera it's a little better but it's um it's it's still just a little too echoey for my liking that said i am like having an out of body experience right now because I've been looking forward to this beauty room for so long. I can't even believe it. So I'm gonna do a reveal for you guys on Sunday. I have vlog footage from the whole process other than everything we did last night, but all we did last night was like move in the desk and the rug and stuff like that. Okay, so I've been seeing people use the e.l.f. Halo Glow in like a darker color for like a bronzing contour moment. I'm gonna go ahead and just try and like put this on where I would normally bronze and contour like before anything and then blend it out and we'll see. This might not be dark enough, but we'll see. The heat is kicking on in my office, so that's what that clicking noise is. We're a work in progress. Anyway, I wanted to spend this get ready with me kind of reflecting and talking about really my experience being a content creator and my career over the last i want to say five years i think i started my youtube channel in 2016 16 17 18 is that right 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 it's been seven years since i started my youtube channel i i can't believe that so i just i'm finally in a beauty room i have like my makeup in front of me i have my camera i have a room dedicated to my work and my business and it's like a big moment. I'm like actually like getting chills about it. Like it's pretty freaking cool considering where we started. So if you aren't, if you are new also, I'm going to do a little say light bronze on top because I want to like build that up a little bit. But if you are 
relatively new to my channel, I wanted to give you a little background and kind of take you guys back to where it all began because it's really wild to be here. I also just signed on with a management company last week. So that is a huge, um, I don't know, a milestone step uh, thing as well. So I just feel like the fact that all of this is happening is really cool. So basically where it all started was in my tiny little North End apartment. I lived in the North End of Boston for like six years with Ethan. It was actually my first North End apartment that I got the idea to start a YouTube channel. And I was working at marketing agency. Let's do foundation. What are we going to do? I think we'll do, let's do this combo because it was such fire the other day. The bronzy drops from Drunk Elephant. I tried these again and I actually love them. And then my Luminous Silk Giorgio Armani foundation. Yeah, I was working at a marketing agency doing PR and like the beginning of influencer marketing. And I just decided to start my YouTube channel and I worked at the agency in tandem with making videos and, you know, did Instagram and then decided to leave my job and pursue this full time. And in the meantime, TikTok came out and that was like, I feel like that like turned content creation on its head. It was so different than anything else that was out there. Like YouTube and Instagram was so different from TikTok. And that was the same about the same time that COVID was going on. So everything was just crazy. And I'm just thinking about like the stuff that I did, like, I literally went to New York Fashion Week and I was invited to like two things. My One of my best friends lived in New York and I was like, you know what? This is one of those things that I feel like I should just go do on my own. Like I don't have enough followers where I'm gonna get invited to any like events or shows really, but I was somehow I got on some list and I was getting invited to some shows for smaller, like smaller designers. And I was like, I'm just gonna go stay with my friend, take the train down there and go. And it's like, that feels like a lifetime ago, but like the amount of things I did like that, I was going to like trade shows, like clean beauty trade shows and meeting with brands like that had booths set up and there were smaller brands at the time. And I was like giving them my business card that I made and I was just like hustling and grinding. And it's really easy to forget everything that you've like done and gone through and experienced when it's like such a long journey. And like, I still truly feel that like, this is only the beginning, but I've done, I feel like I've done so much and it's all starting to kind of like come together and it feels like pay off. And I just have to thank like everyone who supports me, like all of you guys that are subscribed to my channel that like come and watch my videos every week. It still shocks me that like people come to my YouTube channel and are interested in what I'm doing and what I'm posting. And it's, it's so weird <laughs> in like the best way though. Like, I don't mean that in a bad way. I just mean like, it's, it's just weird because it's just like what I'm doing in my life. And like, you guys just know me so well at this point, those of you that have been around forever. And I just appreciate you and love you guys. And I love talking to you and I love connecting with you. That's like my favorite part of my job. Do you hear how loud this freaking um, heat is? It's like, it's, it's warm enough in here. Why are you clicking this old house? Anyway, yeah, it's just really wild. I'm trying to think. I feel like other, that was, sorry, that was, um, Raspberry Beret, it was a Merit Beauty blush. I just feel like I want to like share my knowledge and like share what I've gone through and like what I've done to get where I'm at in case there are people out there that are watching this and interested in getting into content creation and making this into a career. So if you guys have questions about that specifically, I can do another video like answering all your questions. Let me know if you would want that. And then I'll do a little question box on Instagram. And I'm hoping most of you follow me over there and you can like go in and ask the questions for the stuff that you're, the questions that you have. But um, yeah, it's just been, it's been really a crazy adventure. Like I've had a child, <laughs> I've bought a home, I'm in my thirties. Like it really is crazy that I started so long ago. I'm having a hard time articulating like what I'm trying to say or like what I want to say to you guys. I guess the message here, like the overall message that I'm trying to share with you guys is like, if you have a dream, if you have 
a goal, a career goal, a life goal, whatever it is, it's like absolutely possible. I really feel like mindset, <clears throat> I don't know what's happening with my throat. I feel like mindset is everything. And if you have the mindset that things are gonna work out for you and you're not gonna stop until they do and you fully believe in yourself, all those things are gonna happen. It's really just believing it. Like I left my job and I was so scared because you know, I was leaving a really secure job that I didn't really love anymore, but loved at a time. I learned a lot and I loved the people I worked with, most of them. And it was a really scary leap. And I definitely, definitely would not have done it if it wasn't for Ethan, just believing in me absolutely like wholeheartedly, a hundred percent believing in me so much more than I even believed in myself and like just made me believe I could do it. Like, he would always say like, I don't know how to explain it, but like, it's you and I know because it's you, you're gonna be able to do it and you're gonna be successful. Like, how nice is that? I don't know how I lucked out with him, but I told myself that I was gonna give myself six months after I quit my job. I was like, let's try six months of this whole, you know, YouTube channel thing, Instagram thing, and let's see what happens. And that was the stupidest thing ever because Obviously, you're not gonna be like wildly successful in just six months. But what I did learn in those six months was like, I love this and I can see the potential in this. I don't know how long it's gonna take me to get where I wanna go, but I'm gonna try. And like, I nannied. So when I left my job, I was like, I can't just rely on potential partnerships coming through. Cause that was really the only way I was gonna make money at that time because I, I didn't have enough followers to be getting like brand deals that were gonna be able to like pay my rent. Maybe like small things here or there, but I was like, I need something to fall back on. So I nannied for a year and a half until COVID hit and I couldn't nanny anymore. But I just like figured it out. And I think the biggest thing about starting your own business or leaving a job and pursuing a passion, I think the, the biggest thing for me was having that fear. So when COVID hit and I had to stop nannying, which was my like, you know, my income, the majority of my income. And I was falling back on that. And I was like, you know what? If I don't get any partnerships this month or I don't make any money this month doing content creation, I always have like my hourly that I'm getting, getting paid nannying. And then when that went away, that's when the fear came. Like, I feel like the fear is so important and so like powerful because it basically just pulls your legs out from under you. And you're, it's like, I don't have any other choice other than to be successful at this. Like I'm not letting myself fail. I'm not letting myself not be able to pay rent. So how in the world do I start making real money from this? And like, that was where my head was at when COVID hit. And it was a blessing for me that I was forced into that mindset because it would have been really hard to leave my nannying job had I, sorry, I need to think about what I'm doing. I can even do a little more foundation had I not had that mindset, because it's just easy to be comfortable. I think that can be a hindrance sometimes and that can hold you back sometimes because when you're comfortable, you're not growing, you're not learning, you're not getting where you wanna be going. So once that comfort went away, I had no choice. And it, like I said, it was, it was actually a blessing for me because I was forced to make it work. And I remember I was just sitting at my computer. I remember we went to my brother's, he lived in Virginia at the time, and I was working from there because we had to get out of Boston. We were like losing our minds in our tiny apartment. I was working from there and basically just pitching every single brand I could possibly think of that I loved to try and get brand deals. Posting all the time, like I was just pedal to the metal. I have no choice, we gotta do this. And it freaking worked. Like the growth started, I started getting deals. I also think the fact that you know, we were all stuck inside. A lot of brands knew like they probably need to capitalize on social media at this point. And so there were a lot of factors there, but I really think the biggest thing was the fear of failure. And like, I don't have a choice. Like I'm not gonna make money if I don't succeed, you know? And I wanted the lifestyle of like not going 
and sitting at a desk every day and not working for somebody else, making somebody else money. That was a huge thing for me. I was like, I remember I was working my ass off and I was like, I don't see a dime of this. Like none of this comes to me. It doesn't matter what I do. I'm gonna still make the same salary. And that was so like unmotivating to me to, to know that when I was working for someone else. Also like full disclosure, no, like no hate. <laughs> and like no judgment and no anything about anyone who works for Like most people work for other people. I'm, I am not like sticking my nose up at that by any means. I just knew that like, if I could, I didn't want to, I, I wanted to, I wanted to work for myself. That was just a, a goal I always had. I don't know if I always like had this entrepreneurial thing in me, but it came out. So as we embark on this new chapter together where I'm in a beauty room, I'm in a content space, I feel so like, refreshed and motivated and like newly inspired if there are certain videos or certain brands you want me to try out or certain like types of content that you want me to start doing or trying please tell me like if you love my vlogs please tell me if you love my makeup reviews tell me like the feedback from you guys is really everything and i kind of feel like i have a, a good sense of what you guys love to see because that's where i see a lot of the engagement and the comments and stuff coming in but leave them below let me know um i'm also going to be doing a big giveaway over the next couple weeks um i'm probably going to do it on i'm probably going to do one on tiktok like a 100k giveaway on tiktok but i'm also going to do one on youtube or i'll just have you guys enter in both places but just to give back i have so many products that i love here now in my you'll see in the video on sunday in my little like storage area that i have over here and i want to get back to you and give you guys some things that i love as well the significance for this room too for me is huge because of how long i've been filming out of the bedroom moving stuff back and forth you know like when i started my youtube channel i was literally sitting on the floor in front of my like armoire like um closet thing that i had filming myself with a camera that like I asked my mom to help me buy looking crazy by the way like those old videos <laughs> looking wild and then you know every time we moved apartments or anything I was always like oh, one day one day I will be able to wake up and go sit in a room and do my emails and film my content and have like a creative functional space and it, I've literally been thinking about this since then, like since it all began seven years ago. So it's just very amazing to me that I'm living that reality. Like I knew it would happen and it doesn't, I feel like it doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal. Cause it's like, it's just a room, but like, it's more than just a room to me. It's like a place where I can come and be a businesswoman, be a creator and basically when I'm done for the day, leave it all in here and not take it with me when I'm spending time with Logan or Ethan or, you know, having dinner or, you know, hanging out in my bedroom. Like, you know, I used to go into my bedroom and it's like, you see the lights, the cameras, the makeup, everything. It's like to clean it up and put it away and then take it back out the next day. I get it, first world problems, but like it's taxing when you work for yourself and you work from home to not have the separation of work and home. And I think it's really gonna be great for my mental health to be able to have that now. I feel like I'm not having the best makeup day, which is making me sad, but I think it's cause I'm not really focusing on what I'm doing. And I've had two cups of coffee. So my hands are like shaking, but anyway, not the point of this video anyway, we're just getting ready together. The last thing I'll say about all this is if you are considering pursuing some kind of dream that you have, whether that be, it could be a million different things. Freaking go for it. This is your sign. I'm telling you, go for it. Believe in yourself, work your ass off. Don't stop until you succeed and you will succeed. And you just have to believe that, like really truly believe that to your core because life is too short to, you know, spend your days doing something that you don't love and you can have that life that you're that you dream of you know you just got to keep dreaming bigger 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 that's where i'm at i'm like once i achieve one goal let's celebrate for a minute but let's move on to the next what's the next big thing i want because like i said you only live once you have one chance at this why not put everything into what you love 
so that you can look back on your life and be like, wow, I did that. And not wonder like, oh, what if I took that risk? What if I started that thing? Where would I be now? No one have regrets. We are just about done here, but I wanted to let you know like what's up and coming, what's what you can expect to see on my channel that I have planned. The next haul will be an Amazon spring haul. Sadly, none of that is Amazon. It's all Princess Polly, but I will probably by the time this video is up, I will have a TikTok of that haul and all of those pieces will be linked on my LTK if you are interested in any of those because they're all really freaking good. Um, but I'm gonna be doing an Amazon spring haul next. I didn't order, I have a few pieces in. I don't know if it's more like vacation-y or more springy. It's probably a little bit of a mix of both. So look out for that. And then I'm really going to do my best to have a weekly vlog for you guys every week of some kind, whether that be a day in my life or a full week. Um, and we're going to switch it up and start doing two videos a week instead of three. We're gonna just do a Wednesday and a Sunday upload instead of adding that third Friday upload. I feel like two videos a week is really plenty at this point, especially considering all the other content that I'm doing on TikTok and Instagram. And I want to start being like a little bit more mindful with my time and where I'm spending it and not like overworking myself. So I hope you guys are cool with that and can understand. But I think that the two videos a week will make those two videos even better because I will have more time to put more thought and energy into them. And it's all about quality, not quantity over here. So that's the plan. Also, how good is this Jones Road mascara? It absolutely slays my life. I will never stop talking about it until something better comes out. Other than, oh God, I just put so much mascara on my contact. Do you see that? Oh, what am I gonna do? Okay, crisis averted, we're okay actually came out really easily. Anyway, as I was saying, other than Amazon hauls coming up, I'm thinking about going through my makeup now that it's all organized and just doing like a little, like a, like a testing series where I test out all the new makeup that I have. I feel like that'll be the best way to figure out like what I wanna start incorporating into my routine and sharing like reviews with you guys on first impressions live. Let me know what you feel about that, but also let me know if you have other like specific products that you want me to review and try. I did a full face series actually like right after I had Logan, that was like my maternity leave content since I wasn't filming. And that series was basically a full face of a lot of different brands. So I did like a full face of e.l.f., a full face of Rare Beauty, Ilya, I did so many of them and they actually, like I think you guys actually really love them or like they ended up doing really well on my channel. So if you guys want me to like pick that back up and start making that like a, maybe like a bi-weekly thing where like I, I don't know, I do like a full face of another brand. There's so many beauty brands. So I feel like that could be fun or maybe it's like a monthly thing because like I'll probably have to like reach out to the brands, see if I can get product, if I can't purchase it, and then like a full face of trying new stuff. Yeah, so anyway, let me know if you guys like that idea. I could absolutely pick that back up. I also wanna start doing more hair tutorials because I always slack on hair tutorials. And I think that's because I normally do my hair in my bathroom. Now that I have a beauty room, I can absolutely like bring my hair stuff out here and like do hair tutorials with you, so specific hairstyles or like ideas for hairstyles if you are looking for anything like that. Basically, I'm here for any and all feedback. Still my favorite lip is the Road Lip Oil, but I actually really love the Tower 20 as well. Actually, no, I took one out. I'm gonna use my Kosas. They sent me, I showed you guys in the unboxing video, they sent me all their lip oils and these are like some of my all-time favorite lip oils and unhooked this color is so good it's like a mauve -y. look oh it's it's really good <laughs> and i think i'm gonna pop a little bit of the tower 28 on top of that just to give it like a little bit more contrast like it's a little lighter not necessary but i like the gloss i mean the lips 
super glossy. Okay, the last thing we definitely need to clean up this mess. And then I want to try out the Jones Road bronzer for you guys because it's supposed to be amazing, but I think I'm going to do that on TikTok. So if you want to see my review for that, go over to my TikTok because it'll be over there. That way I can get you guys over to TikTok if you're not already there. But I just feel like I need a little bit of a powder bronzer. The creams were just kind of dying on my face today. I don't know what the deal. Oh, that feels amazing. This is the all nighter vitamin C. I also get like a little stress when I pull my hair slipped back because if my skin is not like bronzed enough behind, it looks really crazy. So I need to make sure that we've like really bronzed all down here and it's not like a bronzy blushed face. We need to do some on the ears too. Okay, final, final step is a little Kosas cloud set. And I like to use a little guy for this. This turned into a makeup tutorial and just pat this in where I get shiny. It really airbrushes my skin. It also like minimizes my pores, texture. You can do this all over. Okay, I lied. Last thing is highlight. I got my hourglass ambient. I think this is the ambient, yeah, lighting palette. I haven't used this palette in so long because it's been lost. And now she's back. And I just think we need a little, a little more glow in this look. I feel like that's what it's missing. And this glow is not shimmery at all. It's just glowy. And I think we're gonna do, I'm mixing all the colors together. I'm gonna do a little on in the inner corner. So I'm gonna use a little guy for that. Brighten up that inner corner. All right, we're gonna end it here. Like I said, I feel like I need a touch more bronzer, but I'm gonna go use Joan Ro Jones Road or on TikTok. So go check that video out if you wanna see it. My hair's a little lumpy, but, ooh. <laughs> Don't extend your leg, Sarah. First time filming in the beauty room. My camera's still shaking. It's still a work in progress. It might always be a work in progress, but we are here and I am so thankful for every single one of you. Thank you so much for being subscribed to my channel, for supporting me if you have been over all these years. If you're not subscribed yet, do it. Join the fam. Let me know what you guys want to see below. Thank you again so much. I love you guys. I will see you in my next one.